Hello, um, this is one sample proof for the Alex objective proofs involving parallel lines. Um, I want to mention first. Remember that this is the section that's going to be applying your knowledge of angle pairs, including the two sets of theorems. For instance, I can talk about the corresponding angles postulate, which states that if two lines are parallel, then corresponding angles are congruent. And it's converse, which states that if corresponding angles are congruent, then your lines are parallel. We're actually going to be using, maybe not necessarily that angle pair, but both types of theorems in this proof. So this will be a good um, practice. Okay, um, you as the proof writer have a little bit of creative rights in terms of the exact order of your proof and, you know, sometimes there's more than one way to reach your final destination. For instance, you can write both of your given statements in consecutive order. I'm going to choose to separate them this time. I'm going to take this given and pull a statement off of it, then bring the other given back in and relate what's written. Um, but it's fine if you want to write both of yours down right now. So I've written down this. Y is parallel to Z. I'm going to go ahead and mark that in the picture. And the symbol for parallel lines is the arrow. And because the third line is not yet mentioned, though it is what we want to prove, by the way, um, I am going to go ahead and cover up that third line just so that we don't get too distracted. So this should work. Okay. All right. So like I said, we wrote down the first given, y is parallel to z. Let's write a statement off of that. So think about all of your angle pairs and the angles that are listed here. Think about angles that you could either say are congruent or um, supplementary, that sort of thing. So we could say a lot here. I could say angle one and seven are congruent, alternate interior, angle two and eight, angle six and eight corresponding. Um, but keep in mind what you write down, you probably want to relate with either what's given or what you want to prove. So the next given statement is going to relate angle seven and five. Currently we've covered up angle five, but I do see angle seven. So I want to relate my upcoming statement with angle seven. So an angle that I can say is congruent to angle seven is angle one because they're alternate interior angles. And so first, let me say that. Sometimes I get ahead of myself. And I know that if my lines are parallel, which is what was given, then I can say alternate interior angles are congruent. So that's what I'm going to write for my reason, which is the alternate interior angles theorem. If lines parallel, then alternate interior angles are congruent. Okay, now as mentioned, let's bring in the other given statement. And now let's look at what we've written down in our proof. We've written down angle one's congruent to angle seven and angle seven's congruent to angle five. Notice angle seven was written twice. That does follow the order of the transitive property. So next I can say angle one is congruent to angle five by the transitive property of congruence. Okay, 
And now that I've mentioned angle five again, I should probably give visibility to angle five. All right, that's up there. So I just said angle one is congruent to angle five. Well, and actually, you know what I should do? If I can, it's now cover up the middle. Okay. Well, what type of angle pair is angle one and five? Those are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are only congruent when my lines are parallel. That's the converse of the alternate interior angles theorem. So that would then prove that line Z is parallel to line X, which is what we want to prove. So that's what we're gonna say. X is parallel to Z. And remember the converse states, so follow your the order of your proof. If congruent, then parallel. So in other words, I would write, if the angle pair alternate interior are congruent, then lines parallel all right i'm pretty sure i wrote almost exactly what um would be written on alex but just in case i am going to show you what the exact things you would select on alex would look like and this is it right here um yeah yeah that's exactly verbatim what i wrote so Hope this helps.